hello friends as we discuss uh, today i am going to demonstrate you how to prepare the graft uh, for the acl or pcl reconstruction whatever it's just a simple method but yes you have to follow the some particular step you have to this is the semiti and the gracilis which we are uh, going to prepare for the acl reconstruction which uh, earlier on my youtube channel i have shown or demonstrated how to do the acl reconstruction so this uh, in this case we have used the adjustable endo button this is the gracilis uh, tendon you have to uh, you have to take out uh, all the muscular attachment from the tendon and then measure uh, measure the graft how so you have to uh, so only tendinous part is to be kept as much as possible so that it will give a good strength uh, to the graft and for the graft soakage i use uh, the saline which is uh, and i uh, put the vancomycin uh, powder in powder form so that vancomycin soaked graft it has been proven even in the literature that it it, uh, it is better and gives the least less chance of uh, in, uh, infection uh, post operative as well so once you have measured the graft you on this uh, graft uh, this thing you can you can prepare it i am using the six strand i am going to quadruple is this semiti and this uh, gracilis i am using the two strand or the adjustable endo button uh, you can use the ethibon number 2 or you can use the ethibon number 5 depend the surgeon choice and you have to take this criss cross fashion from end to the center and then from center to the end See about three to four uh, stitches so that it is just to pull and to give the strength. In with this, you can use over the screw as well as over the suture disc as well. So this is just a, a demonstration how uh, you have to take the stitches, how to how you have to take the bite. The whole of the tendon is to be is covered and then this is the uh, the tensioner you can you can give the tension as well while suturing while suturing the graft so once this is prepared this is double strand now we are going to make the four strand over the adjustable endo button uh, so this is this is i'm measuring this must be around a around 160 and we've quadrupled it and we have just measuring the tunnel of this uh, the diameter of the graft so so now this is going very easily through eight so that's that's why i'll, I'll use the six strand for the internal bracing, uh, I prefer to use a fiber tape as well. You can you can see this this fiber tape will. Uh, this is the adjustable endo button of uh, I guess Ceronix uh, company, which has been. Uh, it's a very good uh, company which we routinely use of this uh, this thing. and then how much amount of the graft you want into the tbl tunnel how much amount of this is the now this has been uh four strand and this is the gracilis of separate of six strand so this is the six strand graft which is which uh i'm going to use for this okay and this gracilis is to be separately stitched with Again, with the uh, both the strands of the gracilis is to be separately stitched with Ethibon 2.0. I prefer to use the Ethibon 2.0. Ethibon 5 is, I feel very bulky or very, and it it's uh, it takes a lot of time to dissolve as well. So that's why the Ethibon 2 is. Uh, I prefer to use the Ethibon 2 rather than Ethibon 5. So once that is done, then 
now again recheck your diameter this is tight snugly going through the eight now this is the best which i want now uh, how much amount of the graft you want through the tenon now you have to mark the two marking in adjustable window button one at the how much is the femoral tenon which is i guess in this case was 40 mm so i make a mark at 40 mm and then from tenon uh, how much amount of the graft you want into the tenon which is about of 20 mm so while doing uh, the acl or pcl it's like uh, just solving the math once uh, you've marked this thing thank you